G'day mate, welcome back to Ixion with me, Jiddy. Uh, today's episode we're starting off with the game paused because right at the end of last episode we ran into a small problem. Tiny incy bitsy problem, nothing too major, we just um, have a hull that's about to fall apart. Because I was too busy renovating last episode that I wasn't paying attention and we were using all the steel and therefore for some reason they weren't bother shipping any steel into the first sector to actually repair the hull. So we have an event here that we probably need to click on at the same time um well we're gonna start with sector six sector six is building nothing excellent sector five was building things they're all now paused excellent uh sector four is not building anything perfect sector three uh they're now all paused yep are you paused you're not paused Pause. Okay. Uh, sector 2 is not building anything, but they are making steel, and, and there is 50 steel here, which we should hopefully be able to ship into here. Uh, also, we need to alloy max. Uh, sector 2, alloy none. Uh, sector 3, alloy none. Sector 4, alloy none. Sector 5, alloy none. Sector 6, alloy none. We can see that um, most of it's being shipped to Sector 1, but for some reason, people are shipping stuff to Sector 4. In fact, Sector 2 is shipping stuff to Sector 4. In theory, this is maxed out. I don't know where it's maxed out from, but in theory, it's maxed out. Yeah, uh, we're going to unpause the game and look at this event. Uh, the integrity of the hull fell below 25%. What will we be able to achieve if the Tycoon breaks apart? Uh, probably a whole lot of nothing. Probably, probably. Uh, we're hoping to repair it to, what I just say? 25%? 25%? 350. 50%. 50% 50 within... um. Uh, 15 cycles, and we're down to 13 hit points, 11 hit points, 7, 6, 7, 4, 4, 4 2, uh, 5, 5, 5, 10, 13, 18, 20, okay, cool, we've got steel running. Well, look, any more than one hit point is a waste, it gives you a couple of spares, yeah, I, but we don't need spares, we don't need a buffer, it's fine. Uh, hopefully we can just get enough materials hauled in quickly enough that we can get the hull repaired quickly, um, frankly, I'm... Um, I'm not too worried about actually getting to 50%. I'm pretty sure we can get it back to 100% within five cycles. But, oh, pay attention. Pay attention. Okay, uh, with that out of the way, I think we might start the Crack 41 quest. Because we are done in this sector. We've got nothing left to do in this chapter. I just wanted to go through and, and complete the renovations before moving on. And I still want to complete them. And I'm, we're going to complete them. But I also want to finish this chapter today. Yes. Okay. So, um... Craft 41 is a trillic planet with a small quantity of water present as ice. There are many large black trillic formations across the surface. The atmosphere of P41 is heavy with cloud cover and storms envelop the planet, scouring with solid aluminium rain. Ouch. Even as there is a formation of a particular interest. Uh, this is the gear team. We've landed near Site Zero, where we should be protected from the aluminium rain here. We've located the formation of unknown origin and a commencing exploration of the site. Sure. Go nuts. All right. We'll see you guys in three cycles. Meanwhile, yes, we have um, materials running again. Okay, so we're going to set you to uh, 20. 20, yes. Uh, we're going to set you to 20, yes. We're going to set you to 20. I just got the... the the. Uh, I just completed the quest. Uh, popped up the top left in green. Uh, okay, so that should be everything, at least having 20 in stock, which should be enough that we can go back and have accidents. Okay. Uh, I need to resume you, resume you, and resume you. Uh, we've not really got any more plans in this sector. Uh, oh, and I need to resume you high priority. I actually want that done so I can get rid of that. It'll free up some steel. Uh, this sector deals with trash. Now, unfortunately, I don't have enough waste, i.e. trash, because I was hoping in this sector that we could put in a docking port where we'd pull in ice. Therefore, I could stop doing trash for water in here. Therefore, we could, uh, well, well, we could, um, turn you guys back into recycling for, you guys, recycling for microchips or recycling for steel, which just helps us out in a massive amount. So, I need you running and I need you running. Yes, which means, means I need a tiny bit of steel. Just the smallest amount. Uh, how many people do I have in, what, what sector are we in? We're in five. Five, I can't afford technically to remove a house because people will be unhoused and we're trying not to have any unhoused heathens uh meanwhile you guys are still smelting as fast as possible you've got 200 we should be fine okay it looks like we're back to break even okay 
Uh, team reports the Zolek formation is circular in shape and has deep, steep sides. They have begun mapping the numerous tunnels that lead inside it. Initial reports suggest that these were not created by natural phenomenon, but dug intentionally. That seems pretty reasonable. Yep, okay. Continue behavioral analysis of the team is regime bre breaches in dollar safety protocol as well as metaphysical and psychological or uh, aberrations. Our one crew member appears to have removed their protective helmet, convinced the air in the tunnels was breathable. According to B41's atmosphere, their remaining lifespan is estimated to be 37 minutes. Wow. Okay, that's not good. Uh, okay, so we can override the security go protocols for the gears team. Okay, uh, which again, hopefully Editor Jetty will put a translation for, for, for the Naomi protocol on the screen. The other one is we can continue with the exploration, implementing strict psychological monitoring. I think we're going to do that because although Naomi normally gets it right, the fact that it's being reported 37 minutes, this is four cycles and four cycles is probably a lot longer than 47, 37 minutes. Letting them wander off does not sound like a good idea. So we're going to continue with the exploration and just leave them be. We've got 70 science there already we can pick up. Uh, okay, so back to sector five. So I've got the food, which means I can turn food off and we ship food from there to there. You're going to do steel, which means I can actually deconstruct that one. Uh, and I can deconstruct that one. Uh, and you, no, no, which was the other sector we were doing? It was sector three? You're not done yet. Okay, I need you done. You are high priority, so any steel I should get should go into here, but we just don't. Oh, we got some steel. Okay. All right, back to this problem. Okay, so as soon as you're decommissioned, I can rebuild two more storages. Uh, here and, uh, no, I need to move the road over by a tile. Has that. In the tycoon. And we can build that in there. You're going to be trash. Nice you're going to be, well, actually, you're going to be microchips and you're going to be trash. And if I can get both those two done as well, we can remove both these. I can then unpause the housing. And I can put in the dock. If I put in the dock, it means we're going to ease up on the well. We can bring in the hydrogen directly. And then I can set the other one back in sector two, back to doing. Uh, what was it going to do? It was going to do. Good question, Judy. Ice. That's right. Ice. Okay. Uh, okay. So you're done. We can decommission you. Uh, I want to resume that one. So I can decommission you. And then I need that done before I can decommission that. And that's a... Oh, that's a large stockpile. Uh, well, we're going to turn that off. Because um, I still need to keep an eye on power. Power is still not great. Uh, okay, so you need to move the microchips across, and then you're going to have 10 steel, which is maybe enough to get some of this done. Uh, steel's at 221. You still have 205. Excellent. You have a whole lot of, not a lot of steel. Uh, you have, so you're all built. Okay. And I really hadn't finished planning out what the hell we're going to do in this sector. Apart from, I can now remove that mess hole. Yeah, this sector is completely unplanned. We have all this free space to play with. Don't know, no idea what we're going to do with it, but we, we have free space. Uh, okay. And sector four has... Sector four, I just need to add batteries, right? Yeah, it's only got nine cycles worth of power. I want more. Um, can I put a large... No. Medium. Sure, let's just throw a medium battery in that corner. And back to you... So I need another 30 steel. 30 steel. Yeah. And then enough steel for a dock, which is a whole separate expense. Okay. Uh, P41. Thanks to intense uh, psychological medical follow-up, the Gears team was able to conclude the study. Solid army and particles carried by the winds of P41 created the network of tunnels. The erosion process has transformed the topography of the planet. When the particles collide with one another inside the tunnels, their reverberation generates a low-frequency vibration. When this passes through the inner air, it alters human neural activity. Okay, we learned something. We're not going to override them. We, we, we've, we've made it far enough. We're going to just collect our science and get the hell out of there. Because the, the, the training setup just had a boo-boo. 
Yeah, of all the things to have a boo-boo. Okay, uh, so we're just waiting for a couple of things to happen in here and then we're good. Yes, yeah, so I think I'm just going to cut in uh, population. Okay, so the plan is something along the lines of uh, house. Uh, so I need how many houses? It was... I need 800, so I need seven houses. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. We're going to have eight houses, it turns out. Uh, yes. Okay. I can't build. Pause. Pause. Yeah. I, well, actually, that one's being built. So we can remove that. And. I can resume that because that doesn't need a lot of steel. And that can't even start being built because it doesn't have road access. I need you gone. As soon as you're gone, I can reroute this road, or I can put in the dock, and then I think we're going to put in a cut just so we can get the, the, the last seal arrived and done. Okay, so that goes away. That An goes away. I'm hoping that fits perfectly. No, one more tile. Oh, one more tile. Okay, so I put a dock in there, which is another 60 seal. Then that goes into there, and then we go population, housing, one, two... I'm short by tile. Why am I short by tile? Oh, because the battery... Oh. Battery, you need to move over a tile. Workshop, you need to move over a tile. That could be awkward. Let's remove you. Yeah, everything's got to slide over a tile. It's fine. I was close. All right, I'm going to put in a cart. We just need to put this road in and then slide the battery over a tile and then put in the workshop where the battery was instead, so then I can rebuild the workshop there. There, 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 there. yep. Uh, remove that. Uh, yeah, the workshop ends up going there, and then I can put in two houses, and then I can put the battery back in. It's a whole lot of building and rebuilding. So I will see you guys in a minute. Uh, we have an extra dock, which is going to need a couple of ships, which needs it to be built, so I just need to wait for some, some steel. In the meantime, uh, we're probably going to pick up the last hydrogen on the map, because that doesn't seem too difficult. If I turn on you, 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 and I'm going to set you to hydrogen as well, we just need to go to... What sector are we in? This sector. Max! Sure, bring in all the hydrogen in the world. Uh, you, I can set up for ice. You're already set up here for ice. So we just need to build a couple of ships. I don't have polymer in this sector. So we'll build the ships elsewhere. We'll mail them across. And then we're good to go. This sector's fully done. Uh, actually, it's something we should check. So I should have 800 plus housing. Sector 5 doesn't, because we're still waiting for housing to go in. So I should have room for 800 people in every sector. So you have 330 people. So from 6 to 4. Four non-workers. We're gonna mail over three thirty. What? Oh, non non-workers, non-workers, non-workers are two six five, two six five. Okay, so we're gonna mail them from there to there, which then means from four two six uh, colonists. We're gonna mail them back. So that back, that's back up to eight hundred, which means I have two hundred and ninety colonists, which we're gonna move into sector. Five? Sector one has clones. One it is. Uh, we're going to move... What else? 290. Uh, 290 from four to one. And then from one, uh, non-workers, three to... Uh, let's start with one nine, whoop, 190. Uh, from one to four four and you're at 284 so i can take another 120 no i can take you in 16 116 okay uh so 116 uh so you should be at 1400 uh, you and you should be complete. at just short okay 800 300 1400 500 so I need to add uh, 75 people into there. So we're going to go back to four to one. Non-workers, 75. Done. Okay, you have 800 population. Uh, is that actually 800? I should check this. 
I need them to actually arrive. Yeah, we need them to actually arrive. Uh, although you say in space three. So I think I need to put in an extra three. Uh, four to one. Non-workers, three. We'll just put in extra three. Yeah, okay. Uh, you need 816, which is 800 neat. Uh, you need a second. Three needs 160. Migrate them across, uh, and then another 100 because I can't count. Uh, okay, so you have 800, which you have 800, and you're going to be very short of 800 by like several hundred, um, 500. Yeah, because I just don't have enough population. Uh, not, not quite, not quite. We're, we're sure we'll find more peepsicles in the not too distant future. Uh, research wise, there's nothing we need. Charging batteries faster. 27 research compared to drones, which are actually going to be useful. Uh, maximum drone capacity by one. Uh, number of resources the drone carries by two. Sure, we'll do both of those. That's. 60 research, uh, Collins Training Center, no, Fusion Station, oh, ah, that's just going to stretch our ice further, ice is not really an issue, uh, nuclear power plant, we never got that, because I need to do one more research in here for 20 fewer workers, we don't really have a worker problem either, do we, uh, there's no good way of seeing, is there a good way of seeing, uh, so we have 20 spare workers there, 120 there, 200 there, 160, 80, uh, 20, 20, yeah, okay, no, I don't really have any worker problems, alright, um, we're gonna put in a cut, I will see you guys in a minute, we just need to get the steel processed and rearrange this last little bit, and then I think we're good to go, yeah, yeah, I think we're good to go. There's, there's really nothing else for us in this sector, so it means we can jump on to the next chapter because we still need to hunt down the Pinasari. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, we've got everything built. We're ready to go. Um, In fact, we've even managed to hang around long enough that we actually have some science in the bank. So, uh, actually, no. Batteries. Multiple connections. Charging speed increased by 50%. Sure. Uh, also, drone bay. Uh, maximum drones by two. Drones move 10% faster. Increases number of resources a drone can carry by three. Let's go with 10% faster. And we're pretty much ready to fly out. Now, before I fly out, I do want to put in our two ships. Uh, that being Warlow and Grubber, who have picked up every bit of hydrogen on the map. I want to put them both in here. So we need Grubber and Wallo. Wallo, Wallo, Wallo. At the same time, we can just grab a random mining ship. Uh, doesn't matter which one. Because we're going to... Where are we? Uh, we're going to build two new cargo ships in this sector. Which means I need to turn that one back, back on. And who's shorter mining ship? You're a shorter mining ship. Actually... You would be picking up silicon, right? Do I want another a third ship to pick up silicon? No. No. Like, we don't really need to mine things faster, but picking up silicon faster is probably not going to help us either. Picking up iron faster is probably not going to help us. The only reason to help us now is um, currently iron is uh, here or here it's not exactly close um we, 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 the ships are literally trying to pass their way right across the whole system i should just move the tycoon um do i want a science ship no i don't really want to blast through the science missions faster either um Okay, I want these two ships done first. We're going to have to set them up. They're going to be doing ice. Uh, you're already set to do ice and ice imports to sector 6. Ice max. Okay, and sector 2, ice 0, hydrogen. But it doesn't matter anymore. You're not going to have hydrogen in this sector anymore. Uh, okay, so it's number 5 and... Edna, but yep, yeah, okay, sure. Number 5 will do ice. Uh, so will the other ship. Um... Normally we don't need iron faster because it's local and we just don't 
use it, except I've just went through and like mass rebuild all, rebuild all the sectors. That's what chewed through all the iron and hurry. Um, sure, let's just throw another miner up. Let's just throw another miner up. That way I don't have to worry about it. Gluttony. Yeah, that seems perfect. Okay. Uh, I can set you... Eldermer can also do ice. There's like 9,000, 9,500 ice in the map. Uh, okay. So... That means over here I could turn you on and you could do ice. Okay. And oh shit, we've already got another 50 science. Uh, drone capacity by two. That needs interlocking probes, which is that one. And okay, well, we'll just do another one of those. All right, with all that done, all that done, we're finally ready. No. Yeah, no, they, they, they don't need upgrades. That could probably... Yeah, we'll just queue that on the end. All right. Uh, we are ready to fire up the Ixion engine and move on to the next chapter. Uh, yep. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Chapter one. I want to turn that back on. Cool. That's done. Just... Uh, all right. Yep, that's it. We're going to jump on to chapter four. Where we... Hunt down the Piranazi. Yep. Okay, here he goes. thing I wish about these cutscenes is like there was the, the, the first one said was like 30 seconds long and then the next one was 35 seconds the next one was 40 and you just got a little bit more information each time as you went from chapter to chapter because it's it's basically the same cutscene there are minor alterations in it but it's, it's basically the same although um, that's very red What the hell was the flash at the end? Full jump complete. Okay. Running preliminary diagnostics. Let me guess. There's been damage to the hull. Irreversible damage to the tycoon. Wow. Wow. I can predict the future. Calculations indicate the system's pulsar is dormant. That's probably a good thing. Sensors have located the Piranesi. That's Currently probably also. Down. That's definitely a good thing you now. Must find a way to retrieve the Remus coordinates from it. Cool, as if I haven't been told. Extreme caution, administrator. Now I've definitely been told. Okay. All right, close transmission. Okay, so we took another hundred hit points to the hull. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, close transmission. There's nothing the we tycoon. need to do inside the hull, I don't think. Just want to turn that on. Uh, okay, so step number one is have a look at the map. And okay. Step number two is set up you. Uh, you are going to be uh, minimum priority everything. Just go do stuff. Whatever. Don't really care what you do. Uh, probes. Uh, I have three probe launchers, so this is hopefully going to be fairly quick. Uh, I'm not worried about probes at trying to hit things accurately because, as I said before, they're just they're so easy to make and we can just fire off two. It, we could probably do something with one probe, but I could just spend three probes and it'd be just as good. Uh, who had an oopsie? I don't even know who it was who had an oopsie. No idea. Also, no idea. It looks like it's yet another bug. Okay. Uh, probes. So these guys are set to probes. We do. We can set them to missile countermeasures. We hopefully don't need to do that just yet. We're going to send gear over there. And I need to just shoot probes at the resources that I didn't quite get spot on. Uh, oh, there's a mission objective right there. And 12H. Uh, actually, a probe has completed what resources? Sale. So we found we have found everything but hydrogen. Now I haven't turned on the nuclear power plants yet. Actually, speaking of power plants, uh, is there anything I need to turn on? I 
need to turn on you, which is 30 power, and I need to turn on you, which is 5 power, uh, which is another... Yeah, let's uh, go fire up a nuclear power plant. Uh, okay, so we're going to turn you on, which needs 20 power, and then after you're full, it says uh, 110 power per cycle, but this is running at 3 hydrogen per cycle and making 75 power. It is using 20 power, but it's also making 75. So that's 81 power free. That's a start. Uh, can we go back to sector 2? I need to turn that on. I need to turn that on. I need to turn that on. Uh, you are going to try and support ice, or at least attempt to. Uh, you don't need to be on. You guys do recycling. Now, I do want to set up the recycling again. But I think I want microchips because we've spent a majority of our microchips. Uh, yep. Okay, we're going to set all those to microchips there. 10 power each. But because I have ice, I should be able to turn off you, which is 50 power. So we should be able to go back to the recycling se sector and turn all those guys on. Which should chew about as much in the way of resources as the one machine we have over there. Um, I don't need to turn on these storages. They're all full. I also don't need to do that anymore because hydrogen has nowhere else to go except here. This is the only place it can land. And I sort of need to find hydrogen. Well, I don't need to, but I'm going to. Another point of interest. And ice there. All right. We've got some resources up and running. Let's find out what the first quest looks like. All right, several planetary readings from 12H fall outside the parameters of theoretical models. Great start! Uh, we've landed on 12H planet with intense geological activity. Fissures expel gas, the atmosphere, and canyons run deep across the planet's surface. We've located a stable area we should be able to study 12H phenomenon. So, intrusive allowance, uh, analysts, uh, temporary shelter, and an advanced shelter. Um, well, it's taught me to now, advanced shelters are the way to go. Uh, supporting exploration, team's map, topology, and molecular composition. Large amount of data, help with dedicated PA. Uh, yeah. No, we'll, we'll go with the advanced, uh, which means we need Mule to bring across the stuff, because that's in a dedicated dock all by itself. Okay. Uh, it didn't go away. Okay. Hit the close button. All right. Uh, so Mule will do that. It should be super close, being that it's right there. Mule is in dock number one. Yes. Yes, yeah, so this is the only thing that the research of faster loading and unloading might help with. Although the loading and the unloading of the ship's not terribly long. It's actually physically getting the resources there. Is, it seems to take the longest. Uh, okay, we need to docking uh, at a drone bay. We're going to grab that one. And, well, that's about it right now. Uh, can I get more probes out and about? Sure. Uh, carbon. Some ice here somewhere. And none available. Okay. Uh, so we need to wait for that to happen. In the meantime, there's not a lot for us to do. Like, being that super late game, the only thing for us to do is avoid this, I guess. And try and crack down as much science as possible. Also, leave the miners to start mining. We don't have anyone dedicated on hydrogen. So I guess that's going to be your job. One, two, three. Well, you would should be doing ice. And you should be doing hydrogen. You're a also doing has ice. Completed its really game. Need... So you're going to be doing a bit of everything. Number five is going to be doing a bit of everything. So you're a tier three, tier one, tier two, tier three, tier three, tier three. Yeah, okay. All of them are pretty advanced by now. Alright, so this patch is done, that patch is done, that patch is done. There's a point. Oh, 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 oh resources. Uh this patch is done. I missed some ice right there, it turns out. And that patch is done. You flashed. A science ship team has completed a task. Uh, 
Uh, we've completed our theory mo theoretical model of 12H. During our studies, Hamza Sousi shows signs of mental distress. Concern the concern that the gas expulsions were the cause. We carried out a standard suit integrity test. No breaches were found in their suit. Later, whilst we were submitting our results, Hamas Sousi was seen leaving the research area. Locate them or leave them. We could just bail and just accept one's loss, but maybe he's just having a maybe he's just having a moment. Maybe maybe maybe, maybe his blood sugar's got low. Maybe he just needs a snack. We'll spend two days trying to look for him. What could go wrong on a planet that doesn't make any sense? What could go wrong? Okay, anyways, that's a very pretty 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 star. Really wish we could fly over the star. This, this planet does not look nice at all. Uh, okay, no, I'm, there's nothing in the ship for us. Uh, alright, we just need more probes. Uh, sure, there's a bit of iron here, it turns out. Yeah, around about there somewhere. Uh, sure, there's resources there. And there's resources there. Okay. And reports from the gear team have been inconsistent, indicating psychological instability. And according to their most recent transmission, the team is following the tracks of Hazama towards the house. The, it's in blue. It, the house? No protocol. Enter the house. The team will enter the house and find him or... The team will board the gear and leave him behind. Oh, um, sure. Let's go try and find him. Let, let's go find out what the house is. Like, it's in blue text. This is the first time I say blue text. Nothing happens when I hover over it. Um, no house it is. Sure, sure. But, but the team's probably already dead. We just don't know about it yet. Uh. Okay, do I want to... I don't even really want to upgrade the probes. Like, I'm looking at this. There's 112 science there currently, and may, maybe the team survives, and maybe we get more science. There's 112 science. What, what do I spend 112 science on? Like, there's not a lot left for us. Uh, there's, there's resources there, it turns out. And the point of interest is there. And this little cluster... I missed one tiny bit of ice. Um, yeah, research-wise, like, there is 130 to max out the drones. Uh, there is the hull temple. If we get the hull temple, we get 10 more hit points per section. I don't think I have them in every section, but I have them in most sections. So maybe we get 60 more hit points. Up. Probably get that. That's another 100. Uh... Okay, let's collect the science first, just, just, just in case, just in case they're all dead. Uh, just a big blank area where there's no resources. Uh, I missed some hydrogen over there. Uh, I missed carbon and silicon there. Uh, I missed a crap ton of iron right there. A probe has completed its scan. Having three probe launches definitely speeds this process up. Definitely. Maybe probes flying faster, but then again, it's 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 a mute point because we can just fire them out at different targets. Or realistically, I could just fire all three at the same target. Okay. Comms contact with the gears team has been lost for a short time. We're still receiving mission reports. The house is much bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. I I wonder if it's a little blue box, like a telephone box. It has no interior light source. Okay, it's definitely not that. And it contains a series of mazes. Maybe it is that. A last report speaking of thumping sounds being heard. Okay, it's probably not that. Shortly after this was received, the crew's suit signals were turned off one after another. By all means, in the comments section, if you know what this is referring to, because it's obviously referring to a movie or a book or, or something, and I seem to remember something about a house on a hill in some sci-fi movie, but I do not for the life of me remember what it was. Um, 
comment section comment section i'd love to hear uh but with that we're, 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 we're gonna have to repreciate the gear which means the ship will come back to us when the repreciation of the gear was being initiated Hamaza solely contacted the taiku value ship's comms the return possession of a strange translucent and gelatinous sample after rapid analysis of a component of unknown particles held together by fouls tachyon appears to be very disorientated and requires medical assistance and psychological support that we're returning to the tycoon aboard the gear if so if you're telling me if we just tried to leave earlier on then you would have been fine and you would have just radioed in and said hey you forget me guys please pick me up don't 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 leave without me uh okay so that all looks to be done oh this was the iron which i found some of but not all of Okay, on this side. Okay, there's some resources there. There's a point of interest somewhere. Oh. Oh, we're... No, we're not scanning that one. Okay, we'll scan that one. Okay, uh, gear sends you back so you can pick up the last of science. We have 109 science, which means labby, labby, lab. We're going to grab maximum drone capacity by two. Drones move 50%, far, 20 percent faster. And we can then leave them to it. Okay. Uh, probes. There's ice somewhere there. There is. There is. So it's not red. So we can send the ships and the probes through this mess. Sure, so can... How many resources do we have to? Two and a half thousand, a thousand, two thousand, eight thousand, a uh, thousand. Yeah, I can't see us using that fast enough. All right, uh, science. It's coming up fast. It's going has down. Its okay. Uh, we're gonna send you to twelve D G D G D D D. Let's stay away from the Pinzari. Yeah, yeah. Let's stay away from that, just just in case. Okay, that's done. Nope. Uh, there's some more iron right there. No. Oh, there's definitely more materials there. There's the. Well, that's the ice. That's a lot of resources. Okay, another ten science. Uh, you've done one research. Can I please do the next A research? Okay, so that finishes out the drone bay. Uh, I do want to get the hull reinforcement. Sure. Okay, uh, 12D. First readings from 12D indicate planet exists, experiences intense geothermal activity and is extremely and extreme high temperatures. Its surface largely covered with molten basalic rock. We've located a proximity where we could land the gear conditions on the planet are extremely dangerous soaring temperatures unusual gravity we recommend a quick surface analysis opposed to any further exploration that could lead to human and material losses well um okay i think because they're recommending it we're gonna go with the team's recommendations because they're the ones on site so we'll stay high in the atmosphere and collect data whilst avoiding heat dangerous heat zones we're just gonna very quickly scan the planet rather than actually try and set up infrastructure how about geothermal comprehensive analysis geothermal yeah no we're just gonna go with a surface analysis just in and out in and out one cycle and done okay back to probing uh there's some ice there that i missed there is nothing over here there is Iron and ice and a point of interest. Well, it's hydrogen. Uh, okay. Well, well, yeah, 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 get there slowly. All right. Next update is. Team has completed the surface analysis of 12D, observing geothermal activity and impact of the planet's allows to refine a number of planetary ecosystem models. Excellent. 58 free science. Leave the planet. Okay. Uh, we did that before we go anywhere. Okay. That hasn't finished either. Uh, we're fully repaired. So how many cult? So I have one, one temple, two temple, three temple, four temple, five temple, six temple. So I can add sixty hit points with that research. A probe has completed its scan. 
Sure. 63 hit points. Let's do it. Uh, drone bays are fully unlocked. We'll throw the observatory. No, I wanted to get... Hull takes 20 less damage from impacts, and the hull's deterioration whilst moving is reduced by 10%. So the hull takes 50 points of damage whilst you're moving. So doing this is going to bring it from 50 points per cycle, and you don't, like, most flights are four or five cycles. So it's 250 points, but you are repairing through them. Uh, so this is going to drop off five. That's going to drop off 10. So rather than having 50 damage, you're going to have... 45 damage or 40 damage An it's sort of not really worth it uh, we're gonna grab that and then sure we'll grab one of those just because I, I i think we're gonna have science points to spare well and truly uh okay probes uh that's all probed that looks to be all probed uh i obviously missed some carbon there uh i where is this ice? There. I missed ice there. And I missed, like, everything there. That's fine. Alright, so we need to pick up the... Nope. We need to go there and pick up that. Okay. And then... Yeah, I don't want to touch that yet. No thanks. We'll go pick up as much other science as we can first. Uh, and do I want to change the scenery? You know what? What do you look like? Gas giant. Planet. Yeah. We're going to go for a change, change of scenery. Yep, we're going to fly over this gas giant. We're going to fly over to 12G. Because uh, I'd like having the, 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 the planet in the background for the start of the episode. Because I'm also going to leave this episode here. We're, we've moved into chapter 4. We're going to avoid this problem as for as long as possible. Also, I'm going to probe everything I can probe. Oh, there's a point of interest. Uh, what? There's two points of interest, maybe. And there's resources there somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. We'll start around 12G. Uh, we already have uh, one metric ton of resources we can pick up along with a metric ton worth of resources we're hauling back to the ship as quickly as possible we have the same situation as always i just don't have a need for half the resources and to process them um the only thing i can do is like now that we have steel back on board i can set all these to 50 percent of storage well that's set a little bit higher to start with uh sector four microchips is fine uh, we have sector four, I have 390 colonists, which we could shove into a sector. We just leave it for a little while and wait till I have enough. I could just swap out a whole sector's population, just move all 519, why there's 519 in there, in there, out, 519 in there, I don't know, but just take all of them and shove them there and vice versa. Uh, but I think I'm going to leave this here. Yep. Yeah. Um, with all that said, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the very next episode with um more exploring, more missions, hopefully more 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 of the crew surviving, but you know, it's never a guarantee. Really, really is never a guarantee. Also, uh yeah, that's that twenty percent and that's uh ten percent less damage, twenty percent less damage for impacts. As we might be going to combat soon, that might be a good one just to just to pick up, just in case. Anyway, like I said, uh as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you enjoyed. See you in the very next video. All right. Bye.